Welcome back everybody to another kitty video. For today's video, I decided to do a little Halloween shopping. But not just any ordinary shopping. I decided to go candy shopping on a budget. So I went to my local dollar store and bought six items, six things of candy that were a dollar to see if you could do Halloween on a budget to see if, if maybe, just maybe, there is a golden gem hidden in the dollar store. So let's get started. So the first thing I found was a cookie. Now, already right away, I'm not gonna say cookies are a bad thing to give for Halloween, but they're not the worst thing. Like I would rather you give me a dollar cookie than give me change. Give me, you know, those, like no offense to the older people, cause I get it. But I would much rather get this than your pocket full of change. So let's try out the cookie. All right, here we go. Seems like just a regular sugar cookie with some frosting on it, but let's see how it tastes. That's a pretty hard cookie. There's not much to it, like. It's definitely just like a sugar cookie, but not a good sugar cookie. I mean, I would probably still, like I said, I would probably still rather have this over your pocket change. But at the same time, maybe you leave your light off this year. I, I would say like a four out of 10. So now the second item that I found it is just a little bag of those little tiny chocolate like egg things. I mean, I think if they're the same thing you get at Easter, honestly. It's made from the same people, the, what is it, Palmer? So, yeah, it's, I, it's, I think the same exact thing. They probably just repackage it, you know, to do a couple more holidays. They probably have the same thing around Christmas. Who knows? Maybe I'll do another video th around then, but, yeah, pretty basic generic chocolates, I believe. But let's go ahead and taste it. Because that's what this is about. So, yeah, it already looks exactly like the candies that you get before. They seem a little rounder than the chocolates you get. Like, I think they usually try to make them a little more oval shaped to be like eggs for Easter. But it looks exactly the same to me. Yeah, uh, exactly the same. Exactly the same thing they make for Easter. Not much to it. Not really very chocolatey. Better than the cookie. But not much better. It's probably like a 5 out of 10. I mean, it's an option. If you're trying to do some budget shopping for Halloween. It's an option. Five, five out of 10. All right, so now the next item that I found for a dollar are these candy skulls and bones. I kind of get the feeling that like the, from what I can tell, like a sweet tart kind of candy Maybe almost like Pop Rocks, I'm not really sure. But the tangy, tangy, crunchy candy. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh yeah, it's like a little sweet tart kind of thing. Just like in skulls and bone shapes. See, look, look at that. I, I mean, at least the creativity is there and execute, executed. I mean, they definitely look like what they're supposed to be. So that's a start. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not bad. Tastes pretty much like a sweet tart. Look, I feel like sweet tarts are maybe just a little bit more like tangy. But these are good. These are really honestly a good option. A cheap option for Halloween. I gave them a 7 out of 10. Alright, so it is time for the fourth item. And that is... Knock off Kit Kat bar. Or break, as they like to call it. And you know, they're not even trying to hide the fact that it's like a knockoff Kit Kat bar because they call it break. Which is like the whole advertising for a Kit Kat is give me a break of your Kit Kat bar. So they're not even trying to hide it at all. But are they as good as a Kit Kat bar? Cause if they are, this is a very good option. Eight bars for a dollar. It could be a very good option. Mostly it looks like a Kit Kat bar to me. Different design. But let's let's see how it tastes. I'll be honest with you. It's not a horrible option, but it's definitely not a Kit Kat bar. The chocolate is like a little more, like a waxy fake chocolate kind of taste to it than a regular Kit Kat bar. But again, if you're looking at buying some candy on a budget, I wouldn't be upset with this. If I were trader treating and got this, I wouldn't be upset. I mean, I would prefer a Kit Kat bar, but I personally would understand, hey, they went for the cheaper brand. And that's okay. Overall, I would give it like, maybe a six out of 10, maybe even a seven out of 10, maybe right up there with the sweet tart that aren't sweet tarts like for basically being another like knockoff brand like the skull and bones candy it's a good option i would not be disappointed all right so the fifth item i have for you guys you know them you love them or you hate them it's peeps now i personally don't hate peeps Except for maybe after the last time I've eaten them. Maybe not necessarily as big of a fan anymore. But that's a whole nother story that we can get into. At some other point. But yeah, we have pumpkin peeps. Because you know, they couldn't just leave it for Easter anymore. They had to get, just like the Palmer's candy, they had to get into the other holidays. So they made pumpkin peeps. Now I assume... At least I hope that they just taste like regular original peeps and they didn't actually attempt to make it taste like pumpkin. Cause that would be kind of gross. So again, we're just here to try it and find out. Didn't want to rip apart very nicely, but peeps do that sometimes. So here you have it, the sugary, marshmallowy, death that is a peep. I mean, it seems like probably just a regular peep to me, which is good. It looks like a regular peep, which is good. So let's go ahead and eat it. Yeah. It's a good old fashioned yellow. Just a good old fashioned orange peep. I know my colors. But yeah, I mean, if you like peeps, I mean, you only get three of them, but if you like peeps, not a bad idea. 
I would I would recommend like eight out of ten. It would used to be higher, but things have happened, and I can't put peeps up that high anymore. But they're still good. Eight out of ten. All right, it is time for the last candy item that I have found, and it wouldn't be Halloween without candy corn. But not just regular candy corn. We have cotton candy candy corn. I know what you're thinking. Sounds wonderful, right? Who doesn't love candy corn? I know. So let's try it out. Look at all that pure sugar that's going to be rushing through my veins. I can't say it tastes like candy corn. It just tastes like hot candy. Like... Yeah, it just tastes like sugary cotton candy. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Definitely not candy corn. I'm a little disappointed there. But that's okay. So, a nice big old bucket of cotton candy for Halloween for a dollar? You can't go wrong. 10 out of 10, great option for Halloween on a budget. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what some of your favorite candy is for Easter. I mean, Halloween. Let me know what your favorite candy is for Halloween or Easter. I don't mind. Leave that down in the comments below. Also, what are your, some of your favorite like hidden gems, you know? Some of your cheaper candies that people maybe don't grab this time of the year, you know? There's a, there's a lot of candy out there right now on those shelves. And I feel like people usually go for the big name brands, you know, the Reese's, the Snickers, the Sweet Tarts. But there are some good hidden gems out there, so let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed. And of course, Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.